We're often told in Luke that Jesus was praying. We're not often told what he said, but here we are. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you hid these things from the wise and intelligent and revealed them to babies. Yes, Father, that was what you graciously decided. Remember the little child in the previous segment, going back to Isaiah 11, a little child shall lead them. Remember the song of Mary. Uh, he has put down the mighty from their seat and has exalted the humble and meek. Luke is showing us how Jesus' public career followed on from that original agenda. Everything he says has been given to me by the Father. And no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. There is an entire world of theology just spread out before us for a brief moment in that passage, a way of saying, you want to know who God is. Well, look close at Jesus himself. Don't imagine you can first figure out who God is and then say, well, if Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus must be like that. This is a way of saying exactly what John's Gospel says in chapter 1, verse 18. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten God who is in the bosom of the Father. He has made him known. The vision of God lies along the path of getting to see and know Jesus the Jesus of the Gospels, the Jesus who goes about doing and announcing the kingdom, the Jesus who announces God's way of peace and who goes to take the hostility of the world upon himself, to break its power, to make the new creation happen out the other side. 